Hey everyone, welcome to the reveal post um, day two right before our release, which is tomorrow. Yesterday we revealed Boo to You, and today we want to reveal to you our Christmas set. It's called Tis the Season, and I'm just showing you the design team sample. Of course, when you order, you'll get a really cute packaged up um, um, set. But this set, again, is called Tis the Season. And we're really excited about this set. Uh, DZ worked really hard on just getting everything just perfect, the right scaling, the right everything. We made sure to give you enough images. Um, the sentiments we've got here are Merry Christmas, Tis the Season, and Happy Holidays. You can also um, cut the set if you want and make it Happy Christmas. Um, there's a lot of things you can do. That's the wonderful thing about clear stamps, especially if you have high quality clear stamps and a really good pair of scissors. Um, I have these honey bee, cutter bee honey bee scissors. Um, you can actually cut your clear stamps and we've made sure to give a nice gap in the middle of the images in case that was an option for you because I like to say Happy Christmas because they say it on Harry Potter. So we made sure to give you enough space so I intend on cutting my set and making it Happy Christmas. And then you can mount them back if you want to mount them back to say Happy Holidays. You can mount them back on an acrylic block. We have this really fun reindeer here and of course we had to give him a big nose so you can make him Rudolph if you want. Give him a nice big red nose. Um, we of course gave it a scarf. We've got some presents here and you can either, um, we've got this fun little wagon here with this little line and you can have the reindeer pulling the wagon. You can have this cute elf pulling the wagon and you can put some um, presents, stack them up inside the wagon like some of our design team members have done. You can put some presents underneath the Christmas tree. We have a couple of snowflakes if you want to make your own background with the snowflakes. We've got three. We've got some ornaments here that you can decorate your tree with or you can just string them along the top with maybe some twine or something and you can make some really cute ornaments. We have a little candy cane which we thought would be really cute because the reindeer could be eating the candy cane or the elf could be holding the candy cane or even eating it. Um, and then we've got this bling as we like to call it. And this you can decorate the tree with or can you can make a background with it. There's just so much versatility with this stamp set um, and we really hope you're excited about it. Let me stamp out a couple of images for you so you can see just how well they stamp. I'll start off with the elf. Just inking it up really good with some memento ink. My ink pad's kind of dry. I need to need to ink it up again. So cute. I love this little elf. And I'll ink up the reindeer with the big fun nose. I just love it. We even or she even designed it to where you could cut out the reindeer and leave off the antlers and you can have like a girl reindeer and a boy reindeer if you want to. And that's super easy to do. We made sure to design it just right so you can cut it out and there won't be anything hanging onto the body. Um, so that's totally another option for you. What else can I stamp? Let me stamp some of the little presents. I mean, it's just, this is a really fun set, and I know um, I can speak for the design team when I said we had a really fun time creating cards and projects for this particular set. And here's the little, I didn't line it up very good, but here's the little handle for the wagon if you wanted to have your little elf or a reindeer pulling it and I'll show you um, the beautiful font of Merry Christmas it's just so per it's just so perfect and these stamps so great and and I think that you're gonna love it these are fun images to paper piece these are fun images to color with um, there's lots you can do. I wanted to show you real quick. I have stamped the Christmas tree on a piece of paper and just kind of um, colored it with some distressing. And I want to show you the bling here of how you can do your tree with the bling. I'm going to be using this um, acrylic paint dabber in pearl because it has a really nice sparkle. And of course when I think of bling, I think of sparkle. So I'm just going to stamp my little bling here. 
or sponge it on there. And then because I'm cutting out this tree, I can go off the page. And because these are clear stamps, you can see what you're doing, and you can just add your own bling. Okay, so here's the tree all cut out, and you can see the bling and how it sparkles because of this acrylic paint drop dabber and pearl. It's shiny. Um, this would look great as a focal point on your project. Um, and again, you can even take some of these really fun ornaments, and you can stamp them out. color them and you can put them on your Christmas tree if you want to decorate your Christmas tree with. You can also take your ornaments and hand draw in a line and you can have it hanging. Just like that. Another thing on the set is also a star. You cannot, you know, I don't know what you put on the top of your tree. Um, I used to have an angel growing up. I think then we switched over to a star. Now I have like a cat in a hat type hat that just sits at the top of my tree. But I thought it would be fun if we incorporated a star. Um, and you can cut it out. Let me color it real quick. Let's see. Stars are usually, I'm going to go with a yellow star. You could adhere it to the top of your tree to give your tree you can put a star at the top of your tree. I colored a couple of images off camera just for the sake of time. I colored this cute little elf. These images are so easy to cut out and they're so fun to color. Um, here's the little wagon. Of course I'll just adhere him down with the string. And then here's a bunch of presents that I cut out because I'm going to actually stack them either under the Christmas tree or in the wagon or I might actually set the wagon by the Christmas tree and then put all the pre presents in there. Kind of like a scene. We'll see how that plays out. Um, so those are the couple of images that I colored for the sake of time. I thought I would go ahead and color this reindeer on on camera here so you can see how fun and easy they are to color. Now I am not a Copic coloring expert, so please do not look at these images and copy what I do because they probably will not be wrong. But I'm going to be using E13, 15, and 17, and I'm going to go ahead and color in the reindeer and I'm going to fast motion through this. So here he is all colored. I colored him with the Copics and I cut them all out for you. And I actually cut her out. I made her into a girl just by cutting out the, the antlers right there. Super easy to do and uh, she looks perfect. So I've got me a little girl and I got a little boy. I can make a little family if I wanted to. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed today's post showcasing Tis the Season. This is our second set that will be available for release tomorrow. We are giving away um, Boo to you and tis the season, so make sure that you hop on over to the blog, dzdesigns.blogspot.com, and check out what all the fabulous uh, creations the design team created and leave a comment because we will be choosing two winners from comments that are left along the blogs of the design team members. Um, our store is dzdesigns.com, so be sure to head on over there. Our 
sets will be available at 12.01 a.m. Wednesday, August 22nd, uh, Eastern Standard Time. So you guys that live over on the West Coast, you get to get it three hours early. So uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed uh, the reveal of both of our holiday sets. And uh, we'd love to hear from you, so make sure you leave us a comment, check out our blog, check out our store, check out everything. I'm going to leave you with a couple of pictures uh, of projects that the design team made since I didn't do a project from start to finish today on this video just for the sake of time. Um, so I hope you enjoy everything, and thank you guys so much for watching, and um, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.